students in this lecture we will be discussing importance of transposons so as we have already discussed uh, many times in um, first four lectures what are transposons and what are the um, basic structure of a transposon so this is we have already discussed that this was discovered by Barbara McClintock this is called transposable genetic element these are also called jumping genes because they can uh, jump from one place to another transposable elements are found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes and they fall uh, into uh, general classes um, based on how they move from location to location so they can be copy paste cut paste and uh, some transposons are found in prokaryotes and some are found in eukaryotes. So, uh, when they move via RNA, they are called retrotransposons. In bacteria, basically transposable elements are IS elements and transposons. And in uh, eukaryotes, there are many examples. So, we discussed the example of ACDS in maize. We discussed retrotransposons. And this is the typical structure of a transposon which we have discussed that in the center it has a coding sequence which codes for transposations and uh, which is flanked by uh, inverted repeats and then it makes direct repeats in the host genome so this you can refer to the previous lectures for understanding this but we we have already discussed in detail what is the structure of transposon and what are the kinds of transposons which are found in different organisms this is the representation of a transposon which we have discussed in previous lectures also now let us discuss what are the mutagenic effects of transposition because of transposons so transposable elements can insert into genes and disrupt their functions this we have discussed uh, by examples of acds elements in maize where the pigmentation pattern is disrupted and it results in variegated pattern and also we discussed the example of wrinkled peas we discussed the example of uh, variegated uh, color in rows now more than half of all spontaneously occurring mutations in drosophila results from the insertion of transposable elements in or near a functional gene third point is a number of human genetic diseases are related to transposons for example insertion of l1t into gene for blood clotting factor 8 has caused hemophilia fourth point is although most of the effects of mutations are detrimental but sometimes they are beneficial also for example some bacterial transposable elements carry genes for antibiotic resistance and several transposable elements create mutations to confer insecticide resistance in yeasts. So when we were doing transposons in pro prokaryotes, we discussed that composite transposons have genes for antibiotic resistance. So they can help in antibiotic resistance. Now fifth point is a mutagenetic effect of transposition can be seen in color of grapes of black, red and white green. Black and red color are because of anthocyanin, which is lacking in white or green because of transposition effect. So, red grapes are formed as a result of second mutation in white and red grapes, white or green grapes. We will understand it with the help of photograph. Transposons are used in transpo transposon tag mutagenesis to decipher the role of many cancer protecting genes. So here you can see this is the photograph from Pierre. So here you can see that in black grapes uh, there is a gene uh, uh, and this gene is VVMYBA1 which regulates the synthesis of anthocyanin pigments. By the expression of this, this gene the grapes are black in color. If transposon, transposition occurs and the gene retrotransport Transposon gets inserted in this gene. The, in white grapes, a retrotransposon has inserted near this gene, disrupting the 
synthesis of anthocyanin so why these grapes which are green or colorless in um, because of the transposition event the anthocyanin pigment formation is disrupted and that is why they cannot produce black color now in red grapes a second mutation has removed most of the transposition transposon but a piece is left behind so anthocyanin production is partly restored so in black um, there is no disruption due to transposition in green there is disruption and in red there is partial restoration so this is a example from your day to day life where you see what is the effect of uh, transpositions um, um, in plants thank you students i hope you have understood the topic and you can refer books to understand this more um, you can refer peers Gen griffiths russell any book to understand the topic of transposition thank you